so today I'm gonna start on the playroom. Just give me a minute. How are you? Today I'm gonna start on the playroom. So I've got a smoothie. In the smoothie there is banana, strawberry, blueberry, ashwagandha, maca turmeric blend. And then I've got some chia seeds, a tiny sprinkle of oats, and almond milk. Mm. And matcha. So it's a very super energizing blend. Dan's already put up the radiator cover. So today my plan is just to put um, these bricks up on the wall, which I will show you. So I got these fake bricks online i mean they look they don't look great right now i think it will look good once it's on the wall and it's all flat and everything i bought this at the charity shop which i thought was really picnic vibes oh by the way the theme of the playroom is going to be garden vibes because we love the outdoors in this house we've got the sky room as her nursery and i thought garden would just be perfect for the playroom so we have this grey fluffy rug and I'm thinking to just cover it because I really want to do this as cheap as I can. So it's going to be a nice cheap DIY. I'm going to put this on top of the rug and like staple it underneath. I'm not sure. But this is the current state of the playroom right now. Um, Dan has put, by the way, there's just so much dust on the floor. I need to hoover that. It's just a state you can't even tell how bad it is on camera dan put this up the radiator cover as you can see it's definitely quite high because we live in a very old house and the radiator is a lot higher than the average one so dan had to alter it fix it on the wall and then he built some legs but he is eventually going to get some kind of skirting or wood to go at the bottom and also to cover that dodgy floor underneath. Wow, there's so much work to be done. But anyway, the bricks that I just showed you, the pink ones, are gonna go above this, like all on this wall. Because yeah. it's garden theme, um, the bricks will represent like the house and then around it will be the garden, if that makes sense. So there's so much work to do, there's so much mess. Uh, I feel like I just need to get everything out and clean and then I can just get the move on. The plan is we're gonna bring up some carpet from the conservatory, place it on the floor so it will be carpeted and then I'm gonna put this gray rug on top so it's extra soft and cozy and then that material I just showed you, I'm gonna put on the rug. Let's go. shade of pink. Ugh. I don't know if you can tell. This is darker, more dull. Really glad you had that one. That is so cool. Didn't work out. Look at the state of it. Absolute, absolutely terrible. I do not recommend. Just taking the paint off. Shambles. What a shambles. I don't know what to do now. I'm going to have to paint. I'm going to have to fill in that wall. Oh. Actual shambles. Do not recommend. Never again. Never again. Look how bad this stuff is. Look how bad it is. It's left all the furry residue sticky and I can hardly get it off the wall. 
It's so bad, look, it just rips. It's terrible. Oh my God, what a crisis. That all the paints come off. So basically I'm further back than square one now because I have to rip all this off. I've got to rub all of this off. No idea how I'm gonna do it. Maybe some alcohol rub, who knows? I've got to fit in that and then I will paint. So I've got to find some paints. <sighs> okay, it is what it is. This is just going to be a longer project than I anticipated. It's going to take a while. It really is. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this off the wall because it is just a joke. And then I will probably just end up clearing all this mess today, giving it a good clean and then reevaluate the decorating options because I can't deal with this right now. Oh, universe, just give me some good luck, please. Absolutely awful. Oh my God, this whole wall is gonna come off. The reality of living in a house that is over a hundred years old. Well, at least the paint didn't come off on that, although it probably will, because that's not a good sign. The crack. And now I've got to work out how to get this brick. Hey, brick residue off. Yay! Yay, 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 yay! Oh my gosh. So bad. It's like furry mold. Okay, let's clean up because I can't deal. Alright, time to clean up all this mess. But where do I start? Where do I actually start? Where do I start? There's nowhere to put any of it either. So I'm just, I'm just gonna get everything out. Let's do it. Let's get everything out. from scratch it feels like the old renovation days crazy okay I've peeled all of the paint off all of that sticky stuff we're back to square minus 100 I have sanded off the plaster where it left some holes and now we're ready to prime the wall and then I will paint it a pastel yellow. Let's go. coven at the top at some point and Dan has just laid the underlay for the carpet um, but we don't have enough so we're going to order more and then we'll put the carpet on top and then put some shelves up in that corner probably put some shelves up in this corner but I don't have anything planned as of yet and that is the update. 
so far. Kind of loving the purple. Can't wait till all the foundation is in so I can decorate. Hi everyone. It's been three months since that clip. Or those clips, shall I say. I'm drinking a SPL, PSL. So good. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the playroom and I'm gonna show you the grand reveal. It's not complete 100%. But it is what it is now and there's no plans anytime soon to do any more because I am just over capacity right now. Yes. So let's go. Here we are. So as you come in, you can see some storage Lego boxes, a stool. And then these are the shelves damp up. And just got some display items. You know I love the shroomies and the flowers and everything pastel and colourful. And then we come in and this is the... Okay, so here we have the radiator cover. I painted it lilac. Well, it's more of a lavender, I would say, than a lilac. And then we got the carpet down, nice and nestled. And then up here, I got these flowers. They're wooden. I got them from the Pottery Barn on Vintage. So great price for those. I painted this part same color as the wall for the lavender, a little Barbie, and some more mushroom. There's a mushroom vase. I put some drawers here. And then she got this for her birthday, which is really nice. Wooden puzzle pieces with her name and animals. Some books in the corner. I put up a picture that I painted. Butterflies. And then here on the floor, I put a big green fluffy rug down to represent the grass. And then she's got some toys, strawberries. She loves strawberries. And then more mushrooms, strawberries. So this is our little fruit and veg corner. Um, maybe I'll get some more to put there. Maybe it's my new collection, who knows. An Ikea flower light, which I bought a few years ago. Let's put that on. Ah, oh, so good. And then we bring up this shelf for storage because she just loves opening cupboards. And then we've got some strawberries on the ceiling. We got a magic mirror. As you can see, it shows an illusion version of you, which I love. It's very creative, fun. More flowers, a little bean bag, a seat back flowers mushroom stool a leaf i got that off vintage too most of the stuff in here is second hand things i already had already or diy'd so really good project to do very not expensive and this is the color of the wall i love it and also got that cloud lamp shade from vintage as well and it matches my lamp in the dressing room and this is the overview right here love 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 and that's it we do plan to do some coving on the ceilings but as i said not yet because we don't have we don't have the capacity and we need to fix this radiator cover. But for now, it works. Hi. Hi, everyone. Wow, it's been long. It's been long. Has it been long? Every time I come back to YouTube, I say it's been long. Hi, everyone. I thought I would just do a sit down session for this bit of the video. I thought I would sit down, 
you know catch up with you all um and now it's just been over a year since i've given birth which is has been the hardest year of my life to be honest um it's been very difficult mentally physically extremely difficult i've only just started feeling back to myself and that self is not who i was but it's a new version of myself that i'm enjoying if that makes sense um it's been a very hard year healing physically which has really impacted my mental health because i have been struggling with my hormones trying to balance out and looking back on the year i should have given myself a bit of grace but it's so easy to say that in hindsight isn't it to say i should have done this i should have done that because i didn't know and i was learning because my healing has been so slow it's been challenging not being able to move my body as free as i used to and i'm just getting back on track now and i'm still not fully recovered i really am not and they say it takes a year to two years to feel fully recovered so it's been over a year at the end of march we lost baby oreo which has been very difficult because he was part of this family and part of this channel as well oreo is always in my videos so it's been extremely difficult losing him he was very sick towards the end he had arthritis asthma we suspect kidney problems and other health conditions that they couldn't really find towards the end because he was in such a bad place so yeah it was a very sad time and you know i've been dealing with becoming a mother i've been dealing with a lot like it's been a huge transformation it's been there's been a lot of transitions a lot a la 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 i'm feeling a lot better so let's stay positive the only way is up you know i've just been enjoying my summer um, we've been doing a few camping trips as a family. I got my hair cut. I'm almost at my natural hair colour now. If you can just see here, there's some small end bits with some blonde. But other than that, I haven't had my natural hair since I was 12 years old. And I am... 34 no i'm not i'm 35 halfway through 35 i'm 35 years old and i haven't had my natural hair since i was 12. it's been a journey and i think pregnancy really made me want to get back to my natural hair because it was really growing and then it all fell out and then I got it cut but I didn't color I haven't colored it for two years now two years no color so yeah I'm proud of my natural hair now I'm not gonna dye it anytime soon maybe not ever again why not enjoy my natural hair while it's on my head before I go gray I'm not saying that gray is bad because I'll be lucky if I have gray hair to get to that ripe old wise age but while i don't have gray hair why not just enjoy what i've got no chemicals no cost all i have to pay for is to get it cut i've been brushing every day and it's really feeling good for my hair and scalp anyway blah, blah, blah. only now i've really started getting back into my fitness so it's been very hard mentally physically it's been very hard for me not being able to just like go for it with exercise and do it every day like i used to um 
and it's been a struggle mentally not being able to have that control over my movement or exercise not being able to have that control over my body and it's definitely something that I'm working on mentally but you know it's all a lesson it is all a lesson for my mind to think why was I so reliant on exercising all the time is because it made me feel good and I got the happy chemicals and then when I didn't exercise I was like no what am I gonna do now anyway I'm really enjoying getting back into my fitness again yeah this is a new journey for me this is a new life I am forever changing I am forever evolving and I'm proud of myself before we say goodbye I just want to say hello to any new subscribers I've been seeing quite a few comments lately from new subscribers and honestly your words and support are just so kind so kind and I just want to say thank you welcome thank you for being here and I hope we can enjoy some more workouts together I have so many ideas for videos for new workouts for new dance workouts um, as you can see, I'm in the dressing room and I've moved it round again. I've got a nice sofa, a chair sofa that was in the nursery, but we only sat in there for like five minutes a night. So I want my chill space, you know? I need to be chill. So I've moved it and I've made a little lounge vibe in here. I'm really feeling the seasons changing now end of August, September is like a pivotal point for me where I just feel need for change for an exciting project so I feel like this is my creative era of life very festive and creative lots of ideas rolling around in this odd brain of mine and yeah bye guys see you next time